This one's going to be on R-Sync. Someone on Twitter asked me to do one of this because I haven't made one. Uh, so you don't know what R-Sync is. It's a command line tool to do backups. Okay. So you can do local backups or like over the network. For this video, we're not going to do over the network because I don't have one. But um, uh, local backups. Uh, one thing I use this for is to sync with my uh, iPod. And I use Rockbox on my iPod because, you know, iTunes is bullshit. So I'm going to show you that at the end. But let's go with some basics here. Okay. So what we want to do is we have our folder here. And we want to make a backup to this uh, on you know this blank folder here right really easy with rsync so this one we'll call this one our source folder and this is our destination folder which has nothing right now but we're gonna try to copy all these files over to here right and to do this from the command line um, just install rsync should be in your repository so you type in rsync if I spell it correct and you want to do a dash uh, a and dash A stands for archive, meaning that oh, actually, um, you know, try to get all the attributes of that file, like uh, your file permissions, your timestamp, and all that crap. Uh, so that's what the A does. And the V is kind of like a visual, um, what they call it, verbose, meaning that it'll give you a visuals of uh, what's being synced, right? So all the files and stuff like that. And I want to do recursive, meaning that it'll actually go into, uh, you know, the folder and subfolder and all that. So that's what recursive means um, when you're syncing. So that's that. And now we want to have the source folder, which is this, right? So the source folder should be in, or mine's in my public, and it's just called sample. And our destination folder, which is uh, in our temp junko folder here. So we're going to do uh, slash temp and then junko. Now, if you do this, uh, it'll actually create a you know another extra file that you don't really necessarily need so for example to actually create uh, this sample folder uh, into here which is kind of uh, you know a waste of time but I'll give you an example of what I'm talking about if I do this right now right it'll sync that um, you know sample folder over here which is an extra step you have to do you know, click on this one and then you have all your files same thing as you would in here so if you want to bypass uh, creating the uh, sample file or the folder, I mean, uh, you can do that. Um, so before we use the this command, right, uh, and actually creates this uh, extra sample folder. So what we want to do, let's delete this here. Let's do the same thing, but the only thing you have to change in here is if you add an extra uh, trailing slash at the end, this one will actually um, you know not create the sample folder it's just gonna dump uh, all this one into here only and it skips the sample folder so if we do this again with the trailing slash you see that now you have that synced it without creating that extra folder that we don't really need so that's that and um, that's how you would sync it now the good thing about rsync is that um, let's say in the future you add some more files or you create some new files let's create one right here We'll call this by my name here dot t x t or something, and let's create it. Let's type some stuff in here, blah blah blah. Let's save it and then let's uh, close it, All right? So in the future, maybe you know a couple of days or a couple of weeks or months later, doesn't matter how many files it is. Um, what it's going to do is look at the difference, right? So right now we have a new file that we just created. And we want to sync it now. So let's run this command again. You see that it's not going to try to back up uh, or not going to try to resync every other files. It's only look at the difference. And the only difference is that we have this new file and it's going to back it up incrementally, meaning that, just like I said, you know, only the stuff that has changed it uh, it will actually uh, update. If it doesn't have, if it hasn't changed it, it's not going to go and, you know, re. Uh, copy those files um, so that's why a lot of people like rsync because it's much more efficient that way okay um, something else oh yeah let's say in the future you delete this file now um, okay so let's say we delete this file and let's run that command again now you're you're gonna assume that over here is gonna be deleted also right 
but it doesn't actually delete that file. See, the file is still here. Um, so if you want to get rid of it, because it doesn't make sense for us to keep a backup of it if we already delete it in our main, uh, you know, source folder here, right? So you want to delete this one also. And to do that in here, uh, instead of running this command that we did before, we can just do the same thing, but we want to add an extra flag here. And this one's called a dash dash delete flag. And basically what that would do is that uh, uh, it will look into this folder here. So this folder, and if it doesn't exist on here, then it's going to assume that you do not want it on your backup either. So that's what it's going to do. It's going to delete the difference. Right. And I delete that file that we just uh, did. So that's how you delete that. And that's really the basics of it. Um, you know, you can use rsync locally or over the network, but we're not going to do it over the network for this video. So the next thing is I'm going to show you what I'm going to use it for. And I'm going to use it for my... Uh, you know, iPod, I use Rockbox on it, and I'm going to sync uh, just MP3 files. Okay, so I'll show you that right now. Uh, we're going to do the same thing. So let's delete all the stuff here and, and uh, do it again here. So I have a couple of MP3s in here, right? Even though they have an image in here and all that, it doesn't matter. We only want to uh, get the files with MP3 extensions and the folders with MP3 extensions only. Uh, so how do you do that in here? So we do rsync. Uh, we'll do the same stuff again, like what is it? A, V, R, and um, yeah, that's about it for that. And what we want to do is we want to use the include uh, flag. So dash dash include. We want to include um, what is that? All the uh, folders. So to do that, we do a wildcard. And slash and this will tell it to use uh, all the folders okay and we also want to include what is that mp3s extension so we do wildcard.mp3 right you can add more if you want like let's say you want another um, extension that you want to include so for example you can do like uh, I don't know pog files or something if your mp3 supports it uh, obviously, I'm not going to use uh, MP3s only, but just add more if you want to include other extensions um, or other patterns. Um, so that's it, those two. And we also want to exclude everything else. So we only want MP3s and folders, right? We want to exclude like TXT files, PNGs, or any of these other files that are not MP3s um, that, that have MP3s in their directories. So we have to use the dash dash exclude. Um, so what we want to exclude, we want to exclude everything else and that's just a star for wildcard and that's pretty much it for that. Now we just want a source folder which is in our uh, public uh, sample and we want the trailing slash so let's type the trailing slash there and our destination folder is in our temp junko right that's it so when we hit enter now it's gonna sync the folders here now there's uh like over here they have an image right if we click on here there is no image because we only want mp3s um so that's that now the thing with this is that um see i have an extra folder here and our flags up here we included all folders right but what if the folder is empty this folder is empty and it still copies it you see that and that's not what we want so the way to get around that is we add another flag here and to do this um, let's run this again here so the extra flag to get rid of empty folders is just uh, dash M here right and the M will get rid of empty folders so let's run this again and you'll see that uh, if the folder is empty then it's gonna delete it which I think oh no let's do that again let's delete this here if the folder is empty all right is not going to copy it so let's run that again and you see this time it doesn't run um, or it doesn't create that empty folder that we have so that's what that dash M does now let's assume that you did um, what's the other one before we did this uh, earlier right and this one copies everything so let's assume that you did this before and maybe later on you change your mind you just want it for mp3s only instead of like uh, 
deleting it manually yourself because it takes a lot of time if you have like a you know different directories that have album art in each one of them that can be a pain in the ass to go on each one and then deleting it so we can actually tell our sync to delete all the other ones uh, for us and keep only the mp3s so to do that um, we can use well before we used it uh, the dash dash uh, delete command right we did this before right and that's how we would delete it on you know any changes right but it doesn't work on here because um, well it deletes the, the empty folder but it doesn't delete uh, all the other ones like uh, you know PNGs or JPEGs or any of that so to get around this uh, instead of using the delete we actually have to use uh, delete uh, what was that exclude did and this one will actually delete uh, all these other files and only keep the mp3s so run this sucker now and you see that um, all these other files empty folders you know text files pngs or whatever all these other images um, it's only gonna keep the mp3 so and the folder structure too so that's the uh, the command that I would use uh, you know for backing up all my um, mp3s to my iPod and listen with Rockbox uh, on there anyways that's how you use rsync uh, mainly locally if you're gonna do this on like a server or something you might have to use different flags like compression and partials so you can continue where you left off if your connection is slow or whatever uh, probably show that another time if I have a server set up then uh, I'll make another video that's it for this one if you have any more questions hit it in the comments Twitter Facebook whatever that's all.